This Saturday, July 20th, marks the second annual Scale Fly-In Contest hosted by the Erie Remote Control Club. And here with all the details on this exciting annual event are or Orville Shields and Neil Zahn. Uh, Orville and Neil, welcome. Thank you for being on the show today. If Neil's a familiar face. He was already on the show this week for a totally different organization, mm -hmm. so I said he's just a pro at this. Uh, so you're both with the Erie RC Club. Neil, you're the president of the club yep. currently, correct? Uh, so talk about the organization. Give us a little background on what it is, how long you guys have been around. Well, we uh, it formed the club formed in 1980, and uh, we still have uh, some of the members from way back then. Orville's a longtime member, almost yeah. almost that far back. Mm -hmm. wow. um, so, and we just kept, kept going and kept flying. Yeah, so um, what is it that you do in the club? I mean, for somebody who has no background on, you know, remote control anything, whether it's cars or aircraft or anything, uh, when you meet, um, what, is that, what does that look like? Oh, we just, you know, we just sit around and we <laughs> fly some airplanes. And <laughs> well, it's a place where we gather and have like interests in the airplanes and we also try to get new members to come out yeah. and new people need to have um, some help getting started and learning how yeah and get some ideas about what to do yeah so somebody with no it. experience like right. myself could i could i join the club or start coming to some of the meetings and, and just gain some knowledge and and learn how to do any of what you've been able to do we would like it if you came out first yeah. before you bought anything okay. and before you did anything so you come out and you look at it and take a look and watch us yeah and we got a lot of ideas about how to get started yeah I, I bet you do uh, <laughs> so roughly how many folks are in the club right now well we have about 40 members right now oh actually that's quite a few yeah that is quite a few people and uh, so when you meet you meet over at the Erie Air Park typically yes okay so and you fly planes out there Yes. Okay, so um, Orville, talk a little bit more about how that works, because before this segment started, um, you were telling me that there are real aircraft that are taking off and, and landing out there. Yeah, we're at a, the, the, I think he calls it the Challenger, or Erie Air Park, mm -hmm. and he sells and maintains the Quad City Challenger ultralights, okay. they call them. So there are a few people out there, and they fly their full-scale planes, and they, it's a grass runway. So we, are, we have to make sure that we're safe, uh, flying safely, and we will come down as soon as we see them get ready or okay. come in for a landing. It, that so is so we stay out of the way. That is so interesting to me and very cool. Um, Neil, there is a competition uh, happening this weekend, and you, both of you, brought your own models with you here today. Mm -hmm. um, so this is yours, Neil, that we're showing on screen right now. Tell us all about it. Well, that, that plane uh, is nothing really fancy. I kind of bought that plane really as it is, but then I, re I put different finishes on it. I added the stripes. Yeah. I put a different name call on the side, and I put some uh, weathering on it, weathering like the panel lines yeah. and some other things that look like the paint has been chipped And this off. will be flying in the air this weekend. Yes. I think that is so cool. It also, um, I saw you, it lights up. It's, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it is really, really fun. Um, and then, Orville, you brought your plane with you today, and it looks different from Neil's plane. Kind of t tell me about yours. Okay. Uh, this one, I don't really fly out at the, at during a, a contest or anything like that. Okay. It's just for fun. But it, the reason I brought it was because of this being a scale contest. Yes. This is a scale model of a, of a 19, of Newport 11 from 1917, something like that. Wow. World War I. That one is a World War II. Okay. And we might have even jets, uh, the modern day jets. They, wow. And you make scale models of all of those things in different sizes. Yeah. This one is brought in so that we can show you and easily carry it. Yes. But there's planes out at the field right now that are massive. Now, that a, qu a quarter scale or three, uh, one third scale. So it's got a 10 foot wingspan, that same plane. That is yeah. really, really, really so cool. They come in different sizes. And after all, it is a contest. So how does that work? I mean, who, like, how does somebody win the contest? Well, it depends on how, you know, the workmanship in it and okay. the details that they have. Okay. And we're kind of a low-level contest, but there'll be contests, other contests where, 
you have to have documentation of that sure. specific airplane and how the markings were and how many rivets were on the right. body or the stitching. It has to be correct. Wow. So it can get it can get really intense. Very cool. Well, what a fun event. Uh, the second annual scale flying contest is this Saturday, July 20th, tomorrow, 10 to 8 at the Erie Air Park in Erie, Illinois. And if you're interested in joining the club, you want to check it all out, follow Erie RC Club AMA 1000 on Facebook. That'll get you where you need to go. Orville and Neil, thank you so much for being here today. It's going to be a fun weekend. Us. We appreciate it.